Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks, where there can be only one board game that we're playing on this show, and that game is Highlander, the board game. Uh, thanks, Daddy. Highlander, the board game. The Scottish immortals are at war, and who knows who will win? But you know who's always a winner? The man who has a nice cold beer to drink. Ooh, just in time for the chilliness outside, we have hoodie weather. It's the beer from Forbidden Root, oak-aged Vienna-style lager beer. Mm, That's yeah, me good. Me Damn near perfect. Mm -hmm. This is the best beer I've ever had on beer and board games. Really? I'm gonna say right now, yeah. All right then, hoodie weather. Good it. reviews all round. You oh can't... man, it's usually garbage beer. <laughs> Tonight's show is brought to you by Sloth Jr., our new supreme leader. That is the absolute top tier reward level on patreoncom games. and it is now occupied by this man who we now graciously. Genuflect to as our supreme leader. I think you should make it the, the supreme Alatola. That would really be supreme Alatola <laughs> is not a thing. <laughs> Ayatola Alatola, a supreme lemur. Genius. <laughs> Already having fun. So the three of you seem to be dressed as something. I'm a Highlander. Yeah. Apparently there was a wardrobe meeting that I was not invited to. <laughs> you gotta start inviting that to things. First of all. You don't wear costumes anyway, so why would I bother wasting my breath? Roll Mr. Footage. Plum fucking plum shirt for <laughs> Clue? Hey, hey, that got some nice comments from yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, that nice was high quality. They said, they said plum shirt is all he needs. Yeah, well, well this shirt is all, all you need. Well, all you're to thrown wear together costumes. bullshit. Yeah, well, exactly. Well, you that, look more Highlander? Like a, this is Highlander? You look more like a Highlander than any of us. <laughs> <laughs> so. I was forced to wear this eye patch, which doesn't have anything to do with Highlander because Matt wanted it. And then my this wig, I thought it looked a little bit more like kind of all McLeod. the time. Look at his skanky hair. Skanky or no, it looks nothing like this mess. Uh, that's close enough. And we've got Detective Trout here. Oh no, this is the this is the final scene when he's. When and he's I'm fired. a Highlander. <laughs> all right, everybody's gonna pick a character. Can I be the character that's wearing a whimsical shirt? Yes, there is one. Really? Yeah. Choose the black guy. He's got a whimsical shirt. Choose the black <laughs> guy. His name is Zulu. Holy shit, Dylan actually looks like Peacock. If you just had a man bun. Oh yeah, Peacock. Highlander was one of those movies, like The Dark Crystal, which we'll be getting to like next that. week. I wanted to mm. like it, and I just didn't. Like, there was nothing about it that interested me. When did you see it? When I was a kid. Yeah, I saw it when I was a teenager. I liked it well enough. The first movie was decent, then <laughs> sequels, not so much. Where are you gonna ask me what I thought of the movie? You didn't watch it. I was not born. Born in 1518 in the village of Glenfinnan, Connor MacLeod grew to manhood in the rolling highlands of Scotland. Har. And then there's clans. Har. Maybe. Shuffle the beheaded fate card and two random fate cards per player together and put them face down on the fate deck space. Have you That's been tanning? Yeah, why do you look so good? You, you look great. Because I'm a good looking guy. What can I say? I You're downright dreamy. <laughs> I'm like, That's kind of you to say. I've been lost in the pools of your deep blue eyes for the last 25 minutes. Just hold on to that thought for a couple more hours. And Dylan. you're right, he's sun-kissed. Yeah. <laughs> I have nice skin. I get a little bit like tingly when he looks at me. And <laughs> <laughs> you're geeky. You're nerdy. I don't. I think you I smoke dope. You think? <laughs> you bring those. I'm just being kind. I don't know. By the way, Dylan, that joint that you left at my house, I gave that to Jason. Well, what the hell? As if he needed anything to make him sleepier. <laughs> He's a father. No, I'm glad Jason has it. He should have sent me a thank you text. This one has a little action. Action. Get out of here. You take a man's joint and... For breakfast? <laughs> you don't even say, hey, little picture of him smoking it. That'd be a nice little gesture. Yeah, a nice I'm little sending out more thank gesture. <laughs> Each immortal at the start of the turn rolls the cunning and takes the appropriate initiative token. If two or more immortals roll the same value, then no immortal takes the value token. Instead, they are moved to the dueling area. 
Why is this man who's in the arena having an orgasm? Yeah. I don't like that at all. That's, that's unpleasant. The quickening. Yeah, that's what happens when you behead another immortal. Oh, is that what you call it? <laughs> was it premature quickening or mutually satisfying quickening? Yeah, it was simultaneous quickening. What's your initiative? Check your cunning. I'm an eight. See eight. How Four. Four. Then it's just whatever you roll plus your cunning amount. Seven. Sixteen. Whoa. Three. One. Plus eight, so that's 11. 11. So I can have an encounter. I can explore the era deck. What does that mean? You might find an ally. You might find other stuff. Earn more quickenings. I might quickening all over your face. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> No, that's that happens in the arena. That happens in the. We've already established. So like, quicken, I, it I don't wear good. my glasses, and he's coming on to me all night. I'm gonna go to this deck because I want to get something. So Dungeon Dragons, it's all four Clock sided dice. No. <laughs> no. Dungeon Dragons is <laughs> all four sided dice. There's so much wrong with that stuff. <laughs> I think it's more we, a generation. We could actually thing. interview you about Dungeons and Dragons okay. because you're like the one person who doesn't know what it is. Oh, but I don't think you know amount of men of people of my age or something. <laughs> Dither, are you yeah. all right? You don't are know you my right? many people my age or something. I'll go on the hunt deck and see what happens. The event is the March of Time. Oh, wow. All immortals must discard an ally if able. We have no allies, so yeah. we're good on that. Yeah. Draw and activate an encounter card. Ambush. Choose an immortal with an unflipped initiative token and move them to the arena. You may move to the arena. So you can challenge anybody to a fight right now. Okay, Dylan, you're going to the arena. Oh, you quickened in your undershorts. Oh, I didn't even realize it. When you're in the arena by yourself. So I'm just in the arena with my pants down, just yeah, waiting for... I think you just wait for someone to come that, along that can, and that help can... out. I'm, gonna... I'm here, I got my pants down. Yep. Waiting for someone to come help out. In honor of our supreme leader, we are dedicating a stein to Sloth Jr., the special one. Do you know anybody who's uh, illiterate? <laughs> <laughs> a little illiterate, but not like a lot of illiterate. You take it for granted. I once knew a man who was illiterate, and I wondered, what if he just made that up? <laughs> you lived in a, um, you know, the really long time ago, and there was just like cows and Crops yeah. and stuff, you don't, you nothing yeah, to read. No, no be easy. Read. The era of cows and crops. <laughs> we all have read about it. <laughs> the Highlander Day in, in history Our class. Our forefathers. I actually have that expansion for Carcassonne. Um, okay. You really brought the room to a screeching silence <laughs> hey, with that Honestly, one. everybody watching <laughs> loves that fucking joke. They're like, yes, finally a Carcassonne joke. My favorite. There you go, bud. Consider becoming a patron today. Yeah. Sloth Jr. really stepped up to the plate here and wants all of you to consider becoming a patron. Yours says Highlander, but I'm a Highlander too? I'm not Why gonna... Why do you get to be the Highlander? <laughs> I thought we were all Highlanders. Because I dressed like the Highlander. You're not dressed like <laughs> shit. <laughs> you guys, I got this figured out. Listen up. Whoa. No, don't take my... Ooh. This is my new hairpiece. I'm balding. I got a good handle on it. I couldn't pull it off. <laughs> I don't know how he's got it attached. <laughs> Big suction cup on his bald head. Snatch it off his head. Snatch I should do it? Yeah. Okay, maybe later. Ambush him. Spirit that's, gum. That's an old-timey expression. I'll snatch you bald-headed. Oh, you snatch your whole head... The whole hair ahead. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> How many joints have you done? <laughs> I'm not like nothing. I'm trying I have to entertain myself here, apparently. Come on, what's happening with your little I, I have the conflict. Tony, I'm... would you like to snatch the whole hair head? <laughs> I'm going to let Matt do it. What's your influence? My influence is a four. Ooh, you got shit influence. All right. Oh, you need a three or four in order to be successful. Use Bro. the roll. Use this one. No, no, no. This one's hot. Like you don't have an ally, so you're fine, but... As a result of just having this card at all, you gain a quickening token and discard this oh, card. They're just giving See? out quickenings like they're nothing. I snatch you bald headed. You get away from me, old timer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too quick for you, old man. Quickening. Quickening tokens do. After you roll a die, you can choose to spend a quickening token to re-roll that die. What? I'm still pantsless. I haven't even gone. I'm still pantsless. After all this time, looking like a true survivor. Pantsless like a little kid. <laughs> I'm still pantsless. It's another initiative roll. Look at your cunning. You just stuck. One. One. Fifteen. 
Oh, I mean nine. I have nine. Five. Five. Tony and I tied for initiative, so we're both going to the arena immediately. Oh, God. I'm going to the era deck again. I'm just warning you, there is a chance you'll end up in the arena with us. That's fine. Yeah. Dylan, where are you going to go? <laughs> I don't know. What? what? Uh, For a second there, I thought it was there. steaming. Are you smoking weed somehow and we don't know it? Because I just got a huge whiff of it. Is it, <laughs> is it Courtney's mom? He, you, <laughs> he is it's smoking true. weed and we do <laughs> know about it. Judy, please, a little decorum. <laughs> little known fact, Courtney's mom is she, always here smoking up in the background. She's over the there episode. blazing up yeah, that yeah, chronic. Yeah. And she bogarts it. We never get any... Also, how did you miss what he did, Matt? I'm so lost. What did he do? You'll see in editing, it's cool. Oh, oh, there, that's what I'm smelling. Yeah. I thought that was a marker. Oh, good. A life of greatness. Something Matt will never lead. That's weird. <laughs> that's not, that's, that's a not mean something thing to, to say. say. I've friend. reduced him to insanity. Gosh. He's, he can only gibber. I'm not gonna let you get me down. Yeah. yeah. He's living a life of greatness. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. You yeah. can't because I have this. Yeah, you bad yeah. wig wearing motherfucker. Yeah. It's like getting dreadlocks <laughs> up there. Wash just your Just because you're wearing that doesn't mean he can't fuck you. It just he wouldn't enjoy mm. it. Oh, yeah, because I have. Whoa! Them. An event's happening. Open warfare. Move yourself and an immortal to the arena. <gasps> so you could put all four of us in. <laughs> the immortal that rolls highest upgrades their power die twice. Discard this card. Shit. So we're all fighting each other? Yes. So yeah. what does that mean? What do I roll? Well, go get that card you threw away and it tells us what's happening. It said to discard it! Go get the card. Dylan's out of control. You're embarrassing us in front of Courtney's mom. Yeah. <laughs> she knows what you're like. Alright, so let's see who gets the highest. So I got oh. a seven. Five. Fourteen. I increase my power die for the thing. Okay, great. One. That's bad. Add your power. Oh. Twelve, eleven, nine, Twelve. seven. Twelve. It says behead. He got the, the behead. The immortal or immortals that rolled lowest. Yeah, in I the got duel is beheaded. Yeah. Places. Oh God. All I visit are places. Holy moly. We're having a good time. That's why. Yeah, we're going to. We're having it now. It's at this point in the show when we thank our patrons at patreon.com slash beer and board games who have brought us a beer. Look at that. Beer. For us. That's what you did for us. And we will now toast you. Here's to Mason Sleater. Miss Uke, the best. Amber Berglund. Sloth Jr. Yay. Cheers to, to you. To them. Woo. I'm two. I'm three. There's two. I'm dead. I got an ally. Extended family. Discard this card to cancel the effect of an event. I, I died in an event. <laughs> <laughs> Your death is the only thing that's getting us closer to the end of the game. Ooh, I almost oh, got it. Oh, that was close. Uh, you nicked it. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> oh, put it back on. <laughs> Shut up. Now no, wear it. You Mindfully. must wear it. The Highlander. Oh, oh I'm a yeah. Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Encino Man. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> I think I look a little like Boris Johnson. So now yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm going to go on the hunt deck for a change. I'm over here on the hunk deck. Hunting the Predator. Move yourself to the, the arena. Before the duel is turned, each immortal in the arena rolls cunning. The immortal that rolls the highest upgrades their power die twice for this duel. All right, Matt, let's duel. What's your power? My power is D6. So is my power. We're pretty equal. Three. Four. Quickening token. <laughs> you will quicken me. I'll quicken on your chest. Ah! <laughs> I have to draw a card. Behead! That was such a bad chance of getting that. <laughs> uh, oh! All right. Okay. Were you a magician? Yes, I can. I am a magician. He's a magician. No, I'm not a magician. It's half magician, half beautician. <laughs> <laughs>